Hello everybody is watching, this is Miles' Nurse Swag, aka Miles, and today we're going to be doing something actually techy instead of just Minecraft or some other Let's Play. Today we are coming to do a transformation from Windows 7, which I'm currently on right now, to Linux. Well, we're basically just going to make Windows 7 look like Linux. So this is a virtual machine that I'm in right now. I'm I still have Windows 10. So, you may get concerned about viruses. This transformation only requires two third party softwares, and they're both pretty safe. I have both of them on my computer, and I've experienced nothing wrong. So, let's start by one of the main ones. The most common Linux web browser is. Mozilla Firefox, so www.mozilla.org. Press enter and you'll have here since it's Internet Explorer. It's probably good. it's pretty glitchy, so just click to download Firefox since it's the first thing anyway. Your Windows 7 might have the newer Internet Explorer, like Internet Explorer 9 through 11. So, probably gonna be different, but you're still gonna need. Firefox. Alright, so now that Firefox is installed, you can just X out of Internet Explorer. But to make it look like it's an actual thing, to just unpin Internet Explorer and put this here. Now just open Firefox. Now on this transformation, you aren't really going to change like the Excel buttons and the title bar into Windows. So I don't really know how to exactly change that. Sorry, but yeah. So just download it. Nope. So just save the file. Then drag it to the desktop. So then just go through the setup of Classic Shell. So it has now installed, which means. Wait, that. So now what you want to do is go click classic style and select skin and click no skin. Apply. Oh. And it should look like this. Which is actually how I would expect it to be because if you look up um, tails, then like start menu, if I'm correct, so that's tails, so like start menu, here's your start menu, so it's the mirror similar, but what you want to do, the start menu settings again, and you're one of the, and you're one of the, you know, search, reset, so, reset programs, don't show, and you can probably like just choose a different start button if you want, like there's, these are just two default ones that come with classic shell, I would just do a custom, which, which I'm just going to look up one on the internet, so just put in glass mar marble. So I am going to copy this, put it to the side, and then I'm going to open another program. Okay, let's just actually go through programs and open the Snipping Tool, which is what, which is like the free Windows version of Snagit. And then, what? and then copy this. And as you can see, it's the exact same size, so you can just paste that in there, and you want to 
decide to get this around. So that is perfect. On your desktop, you call it Start with Marble, then go to the File Explorer, which is actually kind of this, apparently. And then you're going to select Custom, Pick Image, and your picked image will be Start Marble. Come on. Will be Start Marble. I forgot that there's actually the, the little, like, having to put three by each other. But this doesn't even really look half bad. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's not definitely cool. I could pin other programs. I can un unpin, no unpin. Why? Me? Which is minute.com, which means you can like get different apps and shove them all into one star. So, here, there's OpenOffice, LibreOffice. I don't see like Abby, Word, or whatever the heck it is. And I normally would use OpenOffice. So that is what I'm going to do, and we can probably grab some other things. I heard that I heard that Linux often has like Audacity, you know. I rarely even use it. It's not that good to me. And you could have your choice of anything else. I already have that. And you could get like another web browser if you'd like. So I am going to get my Ninit. Okay, Ninit has finished, so we close that. And now we will head to start with you. Oh, oh! So let's just do this instead. We will add this to the taskbar. So what we are going to do is unpin this after this, and we are going to get the command prompt and pin it to our taskbar. Because the command prompt is basically like the terminal and that jazz. So, yeah. And we'll just leave all this stuff right here, although I'll move this above Audio City. Now we are going to do one more thing. Actually, two more things. I'm going to look up a light aura, which is like a projected image, kind of like... Imagine this the stop background without the window so in the middle of it. That is a light aura. The Windows Vista to desktop background is a light aura. So I am now going to take the text one, and oh my god, that's really small, and make it really big. This the virtual machine is so slow. Find the desktop again. And then uh, set as desktop background. Boy, that's a little bit of a problem, but hey. Options we have 
it has more properties now. You have a choice, you can have it like with these pin things, or you can change it, which is actually what I'm going to do. So you need to start by unpinning every single, and then this is what you're going to do. You're going to do never combine, and then you're going to do these small icons. There you go. So it looks kind of like Windows Vista. You could definitely say that. That's how it's kind of supposed to look this way. So let's say. Uh, so you basically have your Linux now, except. Actually, we'll quickly have me to do something. Actually, pin it, but it's, it's like a hot mess after a while. Actually, I'll leave it right here. That's the only thing that I'll have pinned. So, like, what's an actual thing that I know? I only know a few commands, like there's CLS for clear screen. And here's another one that I like to do. So, MD folder O secret. That means you create a folder in your profile area. So if I do start folder of secrets, that means you open it. So let's open this. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna close this. Oh, we need to register it. Okay. So I'm not gonna close that. So let's open our file. And you can just do whatever the heck that thing was and I just gonna do this. I'm going to make like we still don't have much time to record it's either a part two or a part three where I'm gonna treat this like everyday tasks to see if I can achieve it. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.